Hello chess lovers, Soren here with another fantastic game for you. I am sure that many of you are already informed that DeepMind has released the unpublished games played between Stockfish 8 and Alpha 0. And as I mentioned in my previous video, in a thousand game match, Alpha 0 scored 155 wins, 6 losses and 839 games ended up in a draw. And the thing which raised my interest was that how on earth Stockfish 8 had managed to win 6 games. And in this video I would like to share one of that games where in a brutal style Stockfish is managing to crush Alpha 0. This is a game full of sacrifices and you will enjoy it greatly. Let's have a look what happened on the board. Stockfish 8 opened up with e4 and e6 by Alpha 0. Black is going for French defense. d4, d5, knight c3, knight f6, bishop g5, bishop e7, e5 knight d7 and in here white is either capturing on e7 can move back his bishop but the most aggressive line is of course h4 elekine chartered attack this is a line where white is sacrificing a pawn for a quick development and rapid attacking chances bishop takes g5 h takes g5 and queen takes g5 black is accepting the gambited pawn but now white is developing his knight with the tempo, is kicking away black queen and is playing queen g4. g6, white managed to create weakness in black's camp and keeps on pressing, knight g5 is coming, h6, and as the pawn on h6 is pinned, white castled queen side, knight c6, as black didn't bother himself first to play a6 and cover this b5 square, knight b5 is on the board. Knight b6. Instead of knight b6, knight f8 could have given black better chances. This knight gives a huge solidity to black's king side. But in our game, we have knight b6, where the knight is somewhat misplaced. Rook d3. New forces are joining the attack. The second rook white is keeping for this h file. h5. The queen on g4 is under attack. But in here, Stockfish 8 played a powerful. Rook f3 move. Look at this brutal queen sacrifice. a6 by alpha 0. Black wants to kick away the knight. But let's have a look. What if h takes g4? Then in this case, after rook takes h8, check king d7. White can capture on f7 and win back the sacrificed queen. And if queen takes f7, the knight takes f7. If a6, the knight c3. And after knight takes d4, knight e2, the exchange of knights on e2, white has a huge advantage. White pieces are very dominant and black pieces are misplaced. They are actually placed awkwardly. That's why after rook f3 we have a6 by alpha 0. But this time instead of moving back the knight, Stockfish played queen g3, sacrificed the knight. But again, alpha 0 didn't accept the sacrifice and played knight d8. Let's have a look what if a takes b5, then white can simply capture the pawn on f7. If queen d8, then rook g7 is coming. If knight takes d4, then knight h7. Black is in trouble, guys. There is no way out. In our game after queen g3, we have knight d8. And only now Stockfish moved back his knight. Knight d7. Bishop d3, white is threatening, knight takes f7. For example, just a random move. If b6, then white can go for this knight takes f7 sacrifice. If knight takes f7, then rook takes f7 is very strong. Here, queen takes f7 can be made with this simple bishop takes g6 move. Or after rook takes f7. If king takes f7, then white can win the pawn on g6 with the queen. And then the rook can join the attack. It's over. If rook h7 then rook f3 check and then queen h6. If king g8 then bishop g6 or if king g8 then rook g3 the game is over. That's why after bishop d3 we have knight f8 black is over protecting the pawn on g6. And if we have a look at the position black's position looks miserable. Look at this black pieces lined up on the 8th rank. Stockfish 8 is simply dominating the position. 
Rook h4, new forces are coming, rook g8, and another fantastic move, guys. Bishop c4, look at this move, guys. This is simply fantastic, guys, and when I first saw this move, I just cried, what? The threat is bishop takes d5. For example, just a random move. If b6, then bishop takes d5 is coming and then knight takes d5. And a question arises, where are you going to place your queen? Or after bishop c4, actually alpha 0 responded with queen d7, but if a move like d takes c4, then the pawn is no longer controlling this e4 square, and white can play knight e4, the threat is knight f6 check. If knight d7, then this time knight h7 is very strong, the knights cooperating together are eyeballing on this f6 square. If rook h8, then knight f6 check, and it's over guys, white pieces are simply penetrating black's camp. If knight c6, then white can first strengthen his queen side with c3, and then can go for g4, and black's king side will soon collapse. In our game, after bishop c4, we have queen d7. Black is overprotecting the d5 square, but this time, Stockfish 8 made another fantastic move and it played knight e4. So far, this is the best game I have seen in this encounter. D takes e4 was played, knight takes e4. Knight h7, a desperate attempt, Black is covering this f6 square, but after rook takes h5, alpha 0 resigned. This is move 22 and alpha 0 resigned. Right now white wants to win this knight, and if a move like queen takes d4, then queen g4 is very strong, this time knight f6 is the threat. Black's position is so hopeless that Stockfish suggests to give away the queen and capture on e4, but of course even that can't help Black, that's why after rook takes h5, alpha 0 resigned. Sounds unusual, right, that alpha 0 resigned? There should be some mistake in here. What a game! This was simply a spectacular game full of sacrifices, Stockfish 8 simply blew apart the artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game, share it with your friends, let them also know about this beauty. Also, for more games consider subscribing to my channel and press that bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video. Good luck!